Hello, here's Dr. Marsig again. Client asked me the other day whether it is possible to clean her dog's teeth without any anesthetic. And there is people who say that would be easily done and uh, they charge money for it. My opinion, quite frankly, is it's a waste of money. It's not working. It's almost like spraying nice paint over a rusty car. The problem is underneath and you cannot cover it up by treating only the surface. Let me show you why. Here's a model of a typical German Shepherd face. So it's a long mouth. Many dogs, of course, have much shorter mouths and therefore the teeth aren't aligned as nicely in sequence. The problem we have in most dogs is even during a physical examination by the doctor that the cheek covers almost a third of the teeth. So it is very difficult to look very far beyond this tooth or that tooth. And if you look closely, there is teeth all the way back in here. They are really wisdom teeth, but very often these very last teeth are causing clinical problems. If you want to clean those teeth, of course, you need the animal anesthetized because you need to open the mouth to get to the inside of those teeth to scale them thoroughly and on the upper jaw as well. Let me show you an x-ray of a cat. Here's the x-ray of the upper jaw of a cat. This is the right upper jaw. And so here would be the front of the mouth or towards the front and this is the last tooth in this kitty. See this tiny little shadow here on the x-ray. This tooth was badly infected, causing a lot of problems. If we had not anesthetized this cat we would have missed it completely. This wisdom tooth is useless in terms of uh, function and so we extracted it. I was talking about cleaning the surface versus clean deeper down. It's important that we go deeper down. Have a look at this photo here. Here is the gum line. There is a tooth that has significant tartar. And the problem that happens is between the gum line and the tooth. Let me make a drawing over here. My tooth schematically looks like this. And the bone comes close to the tooth. And of course there is the, the gum on top. If I'm building up tartar, the tartar builds here on the surface. That one's quite easily scalable. But it creeps down into this pocket below the gum line. And whatever is in that pocket below the gum line is promoting the dental infection. Not only is it going to develop more tartar on the surface, but it will as well move deeper down and eventually dissolve bone and gums causing so-called periodontal disease. Have a look at this photo here. This is exactly what I was, was talking about. Periodontal disease has developed to a severe stage. The tool that's being used to scale below the gum line is called subgingival curette. You're scraping with this tool underneath the gum line. In uh, real mouth, of course, there's a little gap and we can probably insert this tool three, four millimeters into the gum line in an infected tooth. If that does not get done correctly, you leave all the debris and infection in that groove and you achieve nothing if you scale only on the surface. And last, for a good dental, you need to polish the teeth and you need to polish underneath the gum line by using a rotating polishing bit like this one here and it flares out and goes underneath the gum line when I'm rotating. You see this action here? Oh, it actually polished here my plastic. Uh, of course, we use a, a proper polishing paste for that. Without polishing, the teeth are going to be bad within days, while a properly performed dentistry should last for a fairly long time. Again, something you cannot do without anesthetic. So can you imagine a dog actually letting you do that, or a cat? It is absolutely impossible. One, because you can't actually see everything. B, you cannot reach it. C, no animal that is awake lets you scale below the gum line. And lastly, it is impossible to clean with a polishing paste underneath the gum line. Doing dentals without anesthetic is absolutely useless. It's a waste of money.